Uh, so we have started uh, second chapter that is the basic to machine tools and joining processes. Okay, so the machine tools it means the machines which are required to manufacture uh, some parts. There are so many machines, but uh, in our syllabus uh, they include two machines, which are those. Lathe machine and drilling machine. Yeah, correct. So two machines that is lathe machine and drilling machine. So we can perform different operations on these machines when the object or particle is cylindrical or square at that time. To shape this object or work work piece, then uh, we can use lathe machine. So can anyone please tell me the component of the lathe machine motor motor okay then aditi your voice is not audible then next part tail stock tail stock okay Tail stock. Uh, tail stock. Do we need to get something like a Apron. Apron. Okay. Apron. Okay. Then which one? Chuck. 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 Good. Chuck. Good. Work piece. Uh, yeah. Work piece. Work piece is not part of that lathe machine actually. Okay. Bed. Bed. Good. Leg. Legs. Legs. Yeah. Wheel. Wheel. Where is the wheel? wheel? Yeah, wheel. Hand. Wheel. Ah, okay, okay. Hand wheel to operate this. Okay. Ah. Then. Jobs. Uh, jobs. Uh, these are the not part of lathe machine. These are the external part which uh, on which we are machining. It is not part of machine that lathe machine. Tool poster. Tool post, correct. Very good. Tool post is the part where we mount the tool. Then? Tail stock. Tail stock. Tail stock is used to support the? Yes? And lead screw. Lead screw. Okay. Lead screw. Then? Carriage. Carriage. Okay. So, okay, I think most of the part you've covered. So, these are the different parts of the lathe machine that is head stock, tail stock, legs, motor, apron, lead screw, feed rod, then chuck. There are two types of the chuck, three jaw chuck and the four jaw chuck. Then that work piece is not part of that lathe machine. Okay, work piece is the uh, component on which we are uh, machining okay we are performing machining on the work piece <laughs> okay. so which operations we can perform on the lathe machines turning turning fading turning facing plane uh, there are two kinds of plane knurling threading grooving okay so these are the operations that we can perform on the lathe machine. The next one is the drilling machine. So what are the components of drilling machine? Chuck. Sleeve. Chuck. Okay. Sleeve. Drill rod. Okay. Motor. 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 Column. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then, Yes. Sleeve. Ah, sleeve. Pulley. Sleeve. Pulley. Pulleys are also there. Actually, compound pulleys are there. Then? We belt. We belt. Now, operations. These are the operations now. Which are the operations? Counter boring. Drilling, 
tapping, boring, reaming, countersinking. These are the various drilling operations we can perform using the drilling machine. Okay, and these are the results. It is all are the results how it looks after uh, completion of drilling. Milling machine is not in our syllabus. Okay, milling machine removed from our syllabus. The next process is the joining processes. So there are uh, in our syllabus only permanent joints are there. So welding may be done by two ways. First one is by fusion welding. Fusion welding it means here we uh, melt both the metal workpiece and the filling rod or the filler rod. Okay, both get melted and then when we uh, make it cool at that time they get join it okay then another way is the plastic or pressure welding so plastic or pressure welding we can also call it as resistance welding when current is flowing from one point to the another point due to potential difference and when we insert some workpiece in between this uh, in, in between this flow so what happened due to restriction of resistance to flow of current the heat will generate okay and due to that heat the metal will convert it in the plastic mode okay? and when we apply pressure on this so the two workpiece get joined okay so out of this we have seen two welding methods which are those arc welding arc welding gas welding yeah okay we have seen uh, two welding processes first one is the arc welding arc welding is the regular welding which is very uh, important and which is having very uh, large amount of strength okay that arc welding so in arc welding arc welding comes under the fusion welding okay so this is the diagram arc welding where we supply ac or dc current to the electrode holder and here one metallic rod okay or the electrode we can say electrode is provided on that electric rod flux is uh, provided why what is the importance of flux yes at the time of welding it provides it it, it 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 creates some shield around the welding so due to that the oxygen or other contaminated particles cannot enter into the welding okay jar tyachyamadhe oxygen particles vagere gele tar the air gap rahnyachi shakyata asate so it will uh, be weaker the welding so for that this flux is used welding zalyanantar cool zalyanantar tyachyavar ta jo apan papudra kadto to flux asto okay this is the r welding aawaz net nahi yet ata yeto yes ata yeto the break hoto hai aawaz ek minute ami parat ekda hello sir break hota hai aawaz theek hai one second i will uh, check once again i will connect log out karun log in karto internet baki sagle close karto tabs now it is okay hello
इट इज ओके ना सो दिस वन इज द आर्क वेल्डिंग ओके हियर वी मेट दैट वर्क पीस ऑल्सो एंड फिलर रॉड ऑल्सो ओके एंड वेन दे गेट कूल द जॉइंट विल बी क्रिएटेड ओके then next one is the gas welding gas welding that we have seen in the last lecture so gas welding is used where we when we do not have current at that time also we can uh, perform this uh, operation of a gas welding so for that we require uh, two gases that is the oxygen in one one tank and in another tank or cylinder acetylene is used you can use methyl butane or or the gases uh, which can ignite okay but mostly acetylene is used because it gives high temperature near about 3300 degree celsius or oh, or more than this okay so for that reason generally uh, acetylene is used okay so here we have torch in torch the function of torch is to mix the oxygen and acetylene so it will create different types of the flames so when this is the first one natural flame when sir to gaze mein agun bhai na okay one second i will connect aawaz se itne sir ha one second one second Okay, now check. Hello. Yes, sir. The uh, Wi-Fi network is not mobile. It's a online network. My God. Good. Are you okay? Break? No, no. No, sir. No. Okay. So uh, this is the flame. Uh, so we have seen. what are the components or machinery required to perform the gas welding operations so uh, torch is used to mix the gases that is oxygen and acetylene okay so acetylene is uh, used generally because it gives high temperature okay this process is also a fusion welding process okay so this one is the natural uh, flame where the oxygen and acetylene is of same quantity then this one is the carburizing flame carburizing flame is used for welding high carbon steels okay high carbon steels means hard steels and cast iron alloy steels and for hard facing okay jay vela hard facing as asta tya vela jar te connect karaycha asthil aplyala tar tya vela apan कार्बोराइजिंग फ्लेम म्हणजे ज्याच्यामध्ये ऍसिटिलिन चे प्रमाण आपण वाढवतो ऑक्सिजन च्या प्रमाणापेक्षा ओके व्हेन एट दैट टाइम सच टाइप ऑफ फ्लेम्स विल बी ऑब्झर्व ओके सो सच फ्लेम्स कॉल्ड एज कार्बोराइजिंग फ्लेम नाउ दिस वन इज द ऑक्सिडाइजिंग फ्लेम व्हेन वी इंक्रीज द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ ऑक्सिजन एज कंपेयर्ड टू ऍसिटिलिन सो वी गेट such type of flame so oxidizing flame is used for welding some non ferrous alloys such as copper and zinc based alloys so there are so many alloys so it is related to the material science and uh, such type of flames will be used that is oxidizing flame in such materials okay now these are the advantages and disadvantages that we have seen in previous lectures now this is the comparison so you please read this it, this one is very important and uh, i think you have to write it can you write it yes sir so this one is very important te ekda tumhala samajla comparison ki tumhala gas welding ani he doni pan alya sarkhe ta hai so you please write this i'll wait for 
few minutes and then we will proceed for the resistance welding. After resistance welding, only two points remain from this chapter. Division was just the lecture now. Large curve, I thought of so Brenda. Nice, this day. This day, no? She goes. Oh, sir. Okay, then write down. I also have pro I also provided a link for assignment submission. Please check it whether it open or there are some problems. Yes, sir, open. Okay. Now you have to put your assignment number one into uh, this link. The link made click on enter to me the package of the sign let us select kara. Roll number Nitana division and it's another roll number as Then uh, assignment number one, I had two, I had three, I had four, I had the Jamala select Kartaeta and the Chanantar commit commit size G file. G was with this help and she file it the upload car. Okay, sir. The yes. last uh, this of ten leads to the Kalikae. This uh, I check Kalika. What are you guys? Also? Hmm. Online मुझे तब पेन पर वहाँ प्राइस की गर्स पड़ता है ना असाइनमेंट चेक करा वाला थे ना कहे नहीं वो पेपर चेक करा वाला करते हैं ऑटोमेटिक मार्क के तरफ जल्द तो लेकिन मार्क के जैसा का हाँ, direct mark में तो सही रहेंगे। तुम्हें इतनी कड़ा submit के लिए कि कड़ा mark दिखता था मैं। किसी बार बार ऐसा करें answer ये दस बार record ये तेरे Excel sheet में ये तेरे पर। तो जब मैं तुम्हें तुमसे roll number ली था ना व्यवस्थित लिखा था, जब मैं work खाली हूँ नहीं ये कार्य व्यवस्थित करने दो तीन division आए तो मुझे जोर जोर एक शाइनशी � तो मैं इधर सीक्वेंस लिया साल ए डिवीजन एक परसेंट प्रेसेस्ट पर इन तरह सीक्वेंस आस ली लेकिन इसके दे मार्क कॉपी करता है तब अन्य सागर ने मैं तस्वीर साइन इधर ले सागर तो व्यवस्थित करना रहे 
तुम्ही पण तशी काळजी घ्या थोडीशी सर वर तुझा कोण येतो दुसरा पॉइंट Have you drawn diagram for the gas welding? Yes, sir. No, no. no sir. No. Gas welding is not done, sir. Not done, sir. Not. I'll search if some good diagram is there on internet. No, then we will draw same. Sir, last the Jadon or अप टू दिस मंथ एंड दैट इज द थर्टी जानेवारी यू हैव टू सबमिट टू असाइनमेंट्स ओके अंडरस्टूड सर या चन हम्म या चन अंतर नहीं जा रही है ये उड़ा सर या चैप्टर चन नोट चन नोट सर या चन नोट्स ना हाँ देते होगे चैप्टर चन नोट्स देते हो आने एमसीक्यू बंद देते हो पर यहाँ तो सुधा तुम्हारा सेम कराया था ओके हाँ डायग्राम नहीं डायग्राम कराया था नहीं एमसीक्यू लाइन से तीस तारखे पर असाइनमेंट सबमिट कर सीवाल कमी संग लेथ मशीन वर से एक चार पांच ट्रेलिंग मशीन वर से चार पांच प्रत्येक वेल्डिंग वर से थोड़े थोड़े अशा प्रकार तो सिलेक्शन कर सर काल तुम्ही जे लिहायला सांगितले ना नंतर जे फक्त मला क्रेनशॉट काढायचे काल काय लिहायचं तुम्ही जे जे पुढे पाहिले होत काल कुठे काय लिहायचं इथे हॅलो देखिए हां सर हे ओके सर सो ड्रॉ डायग्राम फॉर द गैस वेल्डिंग
ठीक है हिच काड़ा सोपी है खाली पर तीन डायग्राम का एक ही एक दुसरी ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू कलर दिस ओके हेला कलर दी गरज नहीं तुम्हें हेला ब्लैक कलर अस लिहा ऑक्सीजन इन ब्लैक सिलिंडर एंड एसिटिल इन रेड सिलिंडर
ओके नेचुरल फ्लेम फॉर वेल्डिंग ड्रॉ दिस यू हैव टू राइट नेम नेचुरल फ्लेम फॉर वेल्डिंग लास्ट स्लाइड दा कोन पहले कर दो Yes, sir. Oh. This. this temperature may be very by some degree, okay. but this is general. Generally, uh, that temperature will observe in the natural flame for welding. नेक्स्ट नाउ दिस वन कार्बोराइजिंग फ्लेम ऑक्सीडाइजिंग फ्लेम ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीडाइजिंग फ्लेम 
This one is also necessary to complete the assignments. Oh, sir. Okay. <coughs> so we will proceed for the next point. That point is not here in the slide, but this one is the resistance welding. Resistance welding. In resistance welding, there are two types. That is the, I'll show you here. One diagram. Can you observe this diagram? Yes. Yes, sir. So there are different diagrams, but this diagram, I think, uh, good to understand. Uh, now you, uh, you observe here, this one is the power supply. Okay, this one is power. Actually, uh, transformer is provided or machine is here provided. And here, we have two electrodes. This one is the first one, and this one is the second. Okay, so this uh, welding comes under the uh, plastic or pressure welding. Okay, sheet metal. When we have to join sheet metals or uh, thin uh, components, at that time we can use this spot welding. Spot welding is very uh, what we can say. It requires very less, very less time as compared to the other welding. But the joint is also not stronger as compared to arc welding. Okay, so when is movable? Generally, this upper electrode is movable, and the lower one is stationary. Okay, इच्छा मधे दोन इलेक्ट्रोड्स आहेत के एक में का जो समोरा समोरा आहेत तो देर इस गैप when when we apply pressure at that time they touch together like this okay otherwise there is some gap now i will show how it machine looks like one second i have machine kashi diste tumhala dakhavto ti Can you observe this? Yes, sir. Can you observe this machine, all of you? So yes, sir. This yes, sir. machine is, uh, we can say, machine for the spot welding. So this one is the transformer or power supply. These two are the electrodes. This one is one electrode. <coughs> this one is the another electrode. If you see carefully, there is a gap in between these two electrodes. I hate the gap this time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the what we can say uh, in this system, when we apply pressure on this paddle, you take paddle, I have a black color. Sir. When we apply pressure on this paddle, so it will apply pressure at this moving electrode will move in the downward direction and it touches to that stationary electrode when it touches to the stationary electrode the current will flow from this upper electrode towards the lower electrode and again to the transformer so the circuit will complete okay 
Now, so this is the resistance value. When we put some sheet metal in between these two, if I put sheet metal plates, these are the two sheet metal plates. And if I have to join, then I will put together and where I want join at this point, I uh, take under this electron, electrodes. Okay. After that, I will press this paddle. I'll press this paddle. When I press this paddle, the current will flow from this electrode towards this electrode. If there is no sheet metal, then current will flow as it is. Okay. And when I put some sheet metals in between these two electrodes, so this workpiece create resistance to the flow of current. Okay, up to that, is there any problem? Hello, Gita Parent, who is the one 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 who is the या पॅडल वरती आपण फोर्स अप्लाई केल्यानंतर पायाने प्रेशर अप्लाई केल्यानंतर या ट्रान्सफॉर्मर मधून इथून असा करंट फ्लो होतो आणि तो या इलेक्ट्रोड मधून हा जो स्टेशनरी इलेक्ट्रोड आहे खाली त्याच्यामधून परत इकडे मागारी जातो ट्रान्सफॉर्मर आता सेकंड केस मध्ये काय करतो आपल्याला वेल्डिंग करायचे आहे तर आपण दोन शीट मेटल म्हणजे पत्रे शीट मेटल म्हणजे पत्रे दोन पत्रे जर घेतले आणि ज्या ठिकाणी आपल्याला जॉईंट करायचे आहे त्या पॉइंटला इथं आणले आणि त्याच्यानंतर जर आपण इथं प्रेस केलं तर त्यावेळेला इलेक्ट्रिक करंट याच्यामधून फ्लो होतो परंतु या शीट मेटलमुळे इथं रेजिस्टन्स क्रिएट होतो ज्या रेजिस्टन्समुळे या ठिकाणी हीट जनरेट होते आणि हे जे शीट मेटल आहे ते प्लास्टिक फॉर्म मध्ये जातो प्लास्टिक फॉर्म मध्ये गेल्यानंतर आपण जो प्रेशर अप्लाय करणार आहे इथं त्या प्रेशरमुळं इथं एक जॉईंट क्रिएट होतो ओके आणि हा जो जॉईंट आहे हा काही सेकंदामध्ये पाच ते जास्तीत जास्त पाच सेकंद ओके एवढ्या सेकंदामध्ये एवढे फास्ट आपण याने जॉईंट क्रिएट करू शकतो ओके डू यू गेट इट सो दिस वेल्डिंग इज नोन ऍज रेजिस्टन्स वेल्डिंग और इट इज इट कम्स अंडर द रेजिस्टन्स वेल्डिंग अँड दिस वन इज द स्पॉट वेल्डिंग गेट इट आय हॅव वन व्हिडिओ ऑल्सो आय विल शो इट सो यू विल गेट मोर क्लॅरिटी about the working chitin So listen carefully. This one is the resistance welding. Resistance welding. Resistance is the property of the this? conductor by the virtue of which it resists the flow of electrons yeah. is the flow of current through it. This resistance to the flow of electrons creates friction and heat. This heat generated is then used to join the two similar or dissimilar metals by melting and forming a bond between them. Types of resistance welding processes. 1. Spot welding. 2. Seam welding. Spot welding. Spot welding is also known as the resistance spot welding process. It is used to weld thin sheets of metal together by applying pressure. The heat required for welding is generated by resistance to the flow of current through the electrode. Working principle. The welding electrodes are made up of copper, which is a good conductor of electricity. The movable and fixed electrodes of the spot welding machine are held in pressure on either side of a pair of plates to be welded together. As the current passes, it experiences the resistance between the electrode and workpiece contact and generates heat. This heat causes the interface of the workpiece in contact with another workpiece to melt, and pressure fuses the two metals, thus forming a solid bond. If you are enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you are new to ADTW Learn, Click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification to get more informative videos like this. Equipment required. Spot welding machine. Tongs, also known as electrodes. Working of spot welding. When the power is turned on, 
the transformer supplies the low voltage high current to the electrodes made up of copper. These electrodes are held in pressure against the pair of workpieces to be spot welded with the help of tongs. The current flows from the tongs to the electrodes, as copper is the good conductor of electricity but faces resistance at the point of contact between the two workpieces. This resistance generates the heat at metal to metal interface and causes the two metals in contact to melt, then the pressure causes the molten metal to fuse together, and thus a solid bond is formed. Application of Spot Welding Spot welding is used for welding thin sheets together. In the manufacturing of fuel tanks, joining vehicle body parts, radiators, wire ends etc. Advantages of Spot Welding The process can be automated. The process is simpler. No filler metal is required. Low or no fumes is generated. The high welding rate is possible. Limitations of the Spot Welding Process The initial cost is high low strength due to discontinuous weld. The process is limited to the thickness of the metal. Seam welding. In seam welding, so the workpiece is supported on both sides welding. by a pair of electrodes. These electrodes so are in the form of rollers to produce a continuous weld welding. on the workpiece. We continuous spot continuous. welding is known as seam welding. The working principle of seam welding is similar to that of resistance spot welding. Equipment are components used in the process. Instead seam the welding machine and roller electrodes. Working of seam welding. When the power is turned on, the transformer supplies the low voltage high current to the roller electrodes. Made up of conductive materials. These roller electrodes support the pair of workpieces to be welded together. When the rollers are made to contact the workpiece, the current flows easily through the roller electrodes with a low resistance, but experiences a high resistance at the metal to metal interface, that is between the upper plate and lower plate to be joined. Thus high resistance to the flow of current, offered by the pair of workpiece, raises the temperature to the fusion point between the workpiece interface, and a weld is generated in the form of a nugget. Nugget is a weld between the two workpiece interfaces. <coughs> Application of seam welding process. Welding of transformer, paint containers. Welding of gasoline tanks. Automobile mufflers. Welding of sheet metal tanks. Advantages of seam welding. You can generate a leak-proof weld. The production rate is high. Dissimilar metals can be welded together. No filler metal or flux is needed. The processes can be automatic or semi-automatic. It is possible to weld thin metal sheets with this process. A semi-skilled person can also produce a good weld. Limitations of seam welding. The welding process is suitable for thin sheets only up to a thickness of 3 mm. Since the electrodes are in the form of rollers they can weld only along a straight line or well-curved path. The process is limited to the lap joints. I hope, you have understood resistance welding and its types. It takes lots of effort to make such informative video. Have you understood this? Yes, sir. So this is the resistance welding, under resistance welding, through welding, spot welding and the seam welding. We have spot welding for our syllabus. Okay. Our time is over. So all of you uh, put your roll number into the chat box. So thank you all of you. We will stop here. In next lecture, we'll draw a diagram for the spot welding and then uh, we'll see
two more welding processes or joining processes mostly that is the brazing and soldering so thank you all of you